move. Maybe you can go to sleep a little easier. But the rain will add up to a couple of inches in many cases. Maybe a bit less in some of our eastern areas as our front starts to push its way from west to east across our area, dislodging the moisture flow and the high pressure to the east and allowing a cold origin high to start to build in. That will take place through the day on Wednesday. But for this evening, later tonight, that shield of rain covers most counties, diminishes in coverage by dawn or so across the southeastern Big Bend. Could have just a few leftover sprinkles. Winds will take a little time. I'd say about another two to four hours after the rain ends to shift to the northwest. So we do have a temporary warming trend at least through about midday. Once those northwest winds set in, clouds break, sunshine increases, temperatures may they may decrease as you go throughout the mid to late afternoon hours. So peak readings will be in the mid to upper 70s and then falling into the 60s with that cool and dry rush of air coming in. As mentioned, rain totals through tonight. On average, I'd say two to three inches, maybe about one to two in the Suwannee Valley. So these are manageable given the dry spell that we've had uh, for most of the early fall season. Uh, but we may have a couple little nuisance spots of excessive rain. We'll monitor that accordingly, but no flood warnings or watches in effect across our area. We have a reinforcing flow of cool and dry air for the end of the week, but the air will already be dry. So the next little batch into your Friday night, Saturday morning will not contain any rain, but will hold our temperatures down to pretty chilly levels, below average for a change. Lows tonight, though, mid to upper 60s near 70. And as mentioned, those highs by midday in the mid to upper 70s, but then falling temperatures through the late day and evening down to the 40s on your Thursday morning. And a string of highs just in the 60s going into the weekend. And we could be talking some mid and upper 30s over the weekend, too.